Hello my soccer universe to part six of the Europa League jersey review. Don't get scared about my eye, I just was in the shower and got some shampoo in the eye, so it looks kind of ugly. I also decided now that I have to pull a shirt down from back there, because I only have one Arsenal shirt, still only one Arsenal shirt, that's, yeah, might have to change sometime soon, to actually change things up there in the back as well. The middle two shirts are these changes, they have the Arsenal shirt, I have the pink Lask jersey, and I decided, yeah, let's have off all red. Let's put the my whitish Roma jersey up there as well. Um, we are looking at Group F. Arsenal is the top team, and Arsenal is the first jersey that we're looking at. All of these we have already seen in the Premier League jersey review, so um, let's see how quick I will go. Adidas is the new supplier and we all knew that this was basically the biggest jersey of the new season to be revealed. Everyone knew Arsenal is, the, uh, is going back to Adidas. What will Adidas produce? Adidas produced a modern day classic. It looks very much Arsenal. Um, Almost too predictably so. I think that the colors is maybe a little bit over-designed, that also the sleeve cuffs could be a little bit differently, but it's a really, really, really nice shirt. Really nice, uh, fully deserving of nine stars. Pretty interesting, I think, is also the dedicated away jersey, uh, which of course takes inspiration from the bruised banana design. However, I have to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed when I saw this. Um, I know I may have made too much fuss out of, out, of, out of it when I said that the new Columbia kit is the new Arsenal kit as well. That didn't work out that well. <laughs> But I actually think the Columbia kit has more like a Bruce Banana spirit than this one on there. It's uh, too orderly, in a way. Not a bad jersey. I like the inspiration. I like that we have a yellow jersey again. So uh, there's nothing really wrong overall with it. It's just um, to be really Bruce Banana, you should have gone a little bit more all out. So therefore, I stick with the eight stars that I gave this one. And Adidas also treats us to a third jersey, which probably is my favorite uh, just because the colors are so nice I mean you know that I like dark blue um, the red not the red the yellow uh, accents maybe the only thing is that the crest is a little bit too monochromatic but on the other hand uh, how would uh, some red on there look like no truth that works on the other hand red is a club color so why not why not but um, it's very much in the vein of the um, when Arsenal had these jerseys, they also had such a navy away jersey with yellow accents, which uh, looked great. Um, if I had to pick one as an Arsenal jersey, I would go with the red one, but just by the look of it, I think I like the blue one a tad better. Nine stars for both of them. And may I just say, I'm actually glad that Adidas took over because the Puma jerseys never looked really like Arsenal. Uh, I think the last time that Arsenal looked like Arsenal was in the last year that they were with Nike jerseys, where I was really close to getting one. The second team in this group is Frankfurt, and we'll go through all the Frankfurt jerseys. Uh, however, this home jersey that we have here it will not be worn in the Europa League. As I said, I really like the idea behind this one, and it's one of the most spectacular jerseys uh, this season. However, it's a little bit too messy for my liking. Uh, you know, with the different stripe widths and so on, I think when you look at it, the center red stripe is a little bit, at least looks, um, yeah, maybe it's the same width as the next thicker black stripe, but the black stripe around is a little bit thinner than the white stripes, but it might also be some optical illusion, but I think that the white ones are a little bit thicker, so it is, you know, if there, it was more of a geometric pattern behind it, I think I would like it better. Um, but on the other side, these are my favorite colors on a soccer jersey kind of thrown together. I mean, this is almost when the, the love child of a Milan jersey and, a, and an ideal Lusk jersey in a way, but it doesn't look all that pretty to me. I know many people love it. When I saw it at first, I thought it's sensational, but the more I look at it, um, it's a little bit too crazy for me. I can for that only five stars. In the Europa League, actually, they use a much, much simpler jersey, all black with some, you know, there's some uh, shadow pinstriping going on. I was actually a little bit disappointed of that one. Yes, they used black last year uh, as a home jersey, and they used it also in the Europa League, made it all the way to semifinals, but for me, Frankfurt in black is not Frankfurt. 
I have to say this again. Um, there's really not much to this jersey. Uh, I even would have loved if the crest was red instead of black to give it a little bit of red. So yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Um, it's 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 not a bad jersey, but to me it's not a Frankfurt look for that. Only four stars. The away jersey though I really like. Um, the white and then the, the, the two split sides, but uh, in such a way that uh, it all matches up with both colors on each half. Uh, that I really like, maybe with the exception of the crest, which, yeah, make a black around, make the eagle red, or the other way around, make the eagle black and have the um, circle around it in red. Uh, give it a little bit more red on there, and I think it would have been perfect. Um, it's a Pretty darn nice looking jersey, I have to have to say, despite its simplicity. Uh, eight stars for that one. Believe it or not, I'm really liking that one. Um, the third jersey that they were in the league, and maybe they will find it also in the uh, Europa League. It takes inspiration from the cider, and uh, it's a pattern of a cider glass in there. I just find it, eh, it's golden. Uh, maybe that's because there's some connection, but it's very much like the Europa League home jersey, just unicolored and then another splash of accent on there. So it doesn't really excite me. Five stars. Let's go to a team that we haven't looked at. This is Standard de Liege, who has in the Europa League rarely played in their uh, white, uh, white, uh, red home jerseys with the white um, pin striping, horizontal pin striping. Um, New Balance. Uh, if you've seen this Europa League just review, you know that I do not like the New Balance cut, and that's exactly what uh, kind of turns me off a little bit here. To look at how weird the collar looks like, and then the shoulders just grafted on it. It's too much of a box design in a way. The um, you know, and if I look here at the back, also it's kind of they took this Nike design that uh, from 2016 where they had the higher here and then on the back it was kind of boxed off and they re reversed that one and it doesn't look much it doesn't look better to be honest um however since it's just unicolored red and you see that this pin strapping skull over it actually looks quite nice overall i like the full color crest on there the sponsor is also not too intrusive i think it is a little bit small in the europa league it's a fine jersey um, again, the cut uh, puts it down for me a little bit, but I would still give this, um, yeah, let's give it eight stars. The away jersey that is used uh, in the league, I have not seen it in the Europa League, or maybe I have, um, is plain white and then monochromatic rest in red. It's very simple. However, if you look closer, there's a slight geometrical pattern in there, which I find very intriguing and interesting. That, I think, saves it from, from being your average jersey, and that's why I give it seven stars. We have seen uh, standards play a lot in this yellow jersey, and here you can see the geometric pattern better. I think I've seen standard play in yellow before, uh, but yellow and black when your club colors are red and white, that is what bugs me here a little bit. It's a fine jersey, but when I see standard, I always want to see a red jersey. I don't want to see a yellow jersey. Um, I like the geometric pattern there, it's a little bit, uh, makes it interesting, um, over, overall the monochromatic crest also it fits kind of on there, but it's also, it loses the club's identity. But still, it's a nice jersey, let's give it five stars. And lastly, from Portugal, Vitore Guimarães by Macron, a really fine home jersey, I think we've all seen all three jerseys that uh, um, Vittoria was playing in in this Europa League campaign already. This white jersey with the silvery greyish trim, uh, that looks really, really, really nice. They have a sponsor, of course, on there in the Europa League, uh, which takes a little bit away, away from the cleanliness of this shirt, but uh, it's still a very nice, very classy look. And then look at the inside. I wish this would go around these black stripes. Uh, the crest is spectacular and I even like those uh, grayish accents. They give it kind of a little bit more structure, but without being too overbearing. Really nice jersey. Even with sponsors, this is easily nine stars. Um, in a way, and it's hardly possible, the black away jersey is almost even better. Uh, you see the 
black and then some golden accents on there of course uh, sponsor would also be in gold on there but look at how the crest is made to kind of stand out in the gold and then below you have the founding year 1922 as a shadow panel the really really nice macron collar uh it's hard to see here but it's it's this rugby style color that many macron kids like sporting have absolute amazing kit uh it looks beefy against arsenal they looked even good on the, on, on the field with that one i'm also going to give these nine stars Something I cannot really say for the last one. I think the third jersey is for me a little bit disappointment, mainly because, yeah, it's probably some merry team um, connection there over there, but gray and then blue, given that the other kids are so nice in black and white, this does not make much sense to me, I have to uh, say. Uh, also gray as a base color as an accent i think it's fine but as a base color i don't like it reminds me a lot of the current i must say uh anniversary jer jersey where the whole thing is in white so it's not even that original for that reason yeah it's something special it's something different um but we I have the feeling I've seen this before and then um, it does not fit with, I mean, I don't have a big image of uh, Kimarish, but it does not quite fit with me. I give it five stars. Well, let me know what you thought about these jerseys in this video. Um, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree uh, with, with me, tell me which jerseys you liked most. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.